In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up a tombstone in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. And I will also show you guys how to duplicate all of your items. Now I have done videos like this in the past, however it seems as if a lot of people still don't get how to do the tombstone or maybe I'm just going too fast in my videos. So we're gonna go ahead and do this step by step and I will try to do little to no editing to this video so that you guys can see each and every step that I take to get the tombstone done. So let's jump straight into the video and let's do this. Now the first thing you want to do is select a character with a large backpack. So I got two characters here with a large backpack. So I'm going to use palm. And once you guys are here, you want to go into your gears and you want to equip all of your items that you want to carry and have saved in your tombstone. So you want to go ahead to schematics and you want to go ahead and craft all your items that you want to bring over there. But I already have all my items in my tombstone that I already have. So let's go ahead and not equip any of these items. So you guys can see I got a bunch of items in here. And I have done the duplication glitch a few times. And I have ranked myself up with a quite a few numbers of items you guys can see i got over 83 items available and all of these items is what i duplicate so once you have all your items here in your large backpack that you want to save in your tombstone we want to make sure we unequip any weapon that we have because with this method we will need to die and if you die you will lose your insured slot so we don't want to compromise that so let's go ahead and leave so now let's start the match up and from here guys we will do little to no editing at all. Okay so now we are loading in our first game of setting up our tombstone. So the first thing that we will need to do just let's just wait until this countdown complete. The first thing we need to do is ensure that we don't have an existent tombstone. So go ahead bring up your minimap, zoom out a bit and look around on the map if you have anything like this this is a tombstone right here so this has all my stash in it and we want to go ahead and make our way down there and try to break our tombstone as i said i'm gonna try to do little to no editing in this one just to show you guys the whole entire process you guys will see me do a lot of mistake but it is just all a part of the process of not editing so Let's actually start this. We need to make our way over to our tombstone and we want to break that. Then we can move to the next step. So the first thing I'm going to do is get myself in a vehicle so we can move. And you guys should notice that I do got teammates. So this is the best way to do the video actually with teammates so you guys can see the full process of what i'm doing and you guys can see that they're completing contract which i'm not gonna be a part of i'm gonna be just try to do the tombstone glitch for you guys and not try to get um all carried away by doing missions and stuff so we want to make our way all the way over to here so i'm gonna risk it and go through the red zone I should be fine because I had a v armored vehicle and it should be easier to run straight across the map than go all the way around um, if you guys don't want to risk it uh, you don't need to because if you like hit a few zombies then your vehicle will be destroyed and that will not be good so I'm trying to avoid as much zombies as I can and definitely want to avoid hitting that mega abomination there because it will just straight up destroy your vehicle and that will not work for us that will not be good all right so let's make our way over to our tombstone here and it should be right over here where the dark eater is okay let's just go straight into it and now we are at our tombstone. This is the best place to set up your tombstone, by the way. But let's actually break my tombstone. Okay, got it break. Alright, so from here, guys, what we will actually need to do to set up our new tombstone, since we just 
break our tombstone there we don't have any tombstone in the game now so now we will be starting fresh and these are all the items that i'm gonna set back into my new tombstone so let's say you have your items that they're not may not be like mine but um you have your items you wanna drop in your tombstone you got your essence i got max essence so let's actually make our way to a tombstone machine let's actually go back here for a second this is what i'm saying there is um the, the video is gonna be really weird when i'm not doing any editing you know but let's actually mark a tombstone machine normally one will be here and actually one can be up here as well and it all depends you gotta just look around on the map and you should see a tombstone machine we just want to look in the tier one which is the easiest place to get it okay so we got one in the tier two there so we're gonna go right here for that tombstone and we're gonna buy a tombstone perk and we should be set so from here we want to go ahead and try to get a vehicle okay let's try not to get hit by those meats so let's actually go ahead and look for a vehicle which is the best way oh there's a port here there's a aider port here the tier I keep messing up the name guys I don't know I always call it Aether portal which it kind of is a portal but let's actually go in and wait I think I just lost my tombstone okay it's right here sometimes you can mark it and your mark will like disappear so that's what actually happened to me there so let's actually make our way to our tombstone perk guys and let's drop right down on our tombstone remember we don't have any perk we don't have any farm of equipment to fight these zombies so we're gonna take the tombstone you guys can see my tombstone i drink it just like that remember guys this is a step by step tutorial so it's gonna be long maybe it's not too long because we're gonna just run to it super easy so from here like oh, we got our tombstone wait i didn't see that sword did anybody see this wait that's cute um but let's get back to it uh since we now have our tombstone drink and we have it equipped wait i'm just making a mistake there but we got our tombstone right so now we need to get ourselves a large backpack and I would suggest that you guys keep a large backpack. I do have a large backpack, but I'm still gonna go over the process to show you guys how to get the large backpack super, super easy. And why would you need a large backpack? You will need a large backpack because whenever we do the tombstone, we are going to die and we are going to lose our backpack. So this is the reason why we need our large backpack. And we will need to set the large backpack inside our tombstone just like how i have all of these set in my backpack so let's go ahead and get over there in the red zone and we should be able to buy a tombstone i mean we should be able to buy a large backpack right there so let's zip our way up here guys and make sure that you guys always carry decoy grenade if you have your decoy grenade it should be super easy let's actually take the stairs because it's the most safe way to do this because the zombies can climb as you guys can see they're climbing just looking for me but let's just take this track that i am taking right here and you should be on your way to get your large backpack let's get up here don't want to mess up right now because obviously we are here by ourselves and we would be in serious trouble if we get down right now so let's throw a decoy grenade right there and just buy our large backpack boom we got our large backpack right guys so i'm not gonna actually buy it because it will only go to waste but let's say you just bought your large backpack just jump and just glide away there normally would be a boat somewhere around here but there's not oh there it is so there's a boat here i'm gonna take this boat because i'm gonna wanna go all the way back to where i normally would have set my tombstone wait it's on the other side okay let's see if we can go through this window up here no i don't think we can okay i guess we can't so as i'm saying this video is unedited so 
it's gonna be it's gonna suck that's all I'm gonna say okay uh, let's check this chest okay we don't want that but let's get the boat and just go all the way on the small island now because we are pretty much set we don't need to get anything more for our tombstone and by the way guys if you guys want help I will be streaming at times at 11 uh, p.m. in the night because that's the only time I get like a opportunity to go live so I take full advantage of it because if you guys didn't know I got my I got a 10 months old baby and I'm actually the one at home my my uh, my my wife is I can't speak bro my wife is at work so I'm gonna be at home doing you know child duty I mean father role you know all that goes but um once we are here now guys let's uh get back to the tombstone so we need to set our tombstone now guys normally we would have just died and just bleed out but we can't do that we gotta do a different process since the update so what we're gonna do here guys is gonna click on up on d-pad and we wanna leave the squad because the tombstone method will not work if you guys are in a squad so you will need to leave that's the first step go ahead and click on leave and it should leave now you guys can see strike out alone we are here alone now we can proceed and doing the tombstone glitch now you guys probably see that all my essence is now gone but don't worry if you bring up your map you should see that i got my essence right there don't worry about the essence um it's just so that i got like three thousand but it's because i leave if i actually jump up my team he should see all my essence appear but now <clears throat> let's actually go in i'm sorry guys i'm super sorry <clears throat> let me just clear my throat a bit back to what i was saying is we need to down ourselves now and make sure that you don't have a self revive because it will not work so let's go ahead and go here and let these zombies throw me at you then i'm gonna show you guys the next step but a boom okay oh there's gonna be one more and i'm dead okay wait he throw it at me even when i'm down but all right so once the, you got down by the zombie you're gonna go ahead and crawl your way over here you want to crawl your way all the way over here guys the reason why we are crawling because we can just give up right there but we want to crawl all the way over here so we're tombstone will actually be at a safe location where you can actually get your tombstone and not have zombie throwing meats at you now once you're here you can just click on all and O and just die just like that do not plead for help do not call your friends to revive you don't do anything the game will immediately count down and then it will eliminate you once you get eliminated we're gonna move on to the next step okay okay there we go we got eliminated with all our items uh, everything that we have in our uh, backpack so now you're gonna go ahead and click skip there should be a leave button so you're gonna need to actually leave as well boom now we leave let's wait until the game loads up as i said i'm not gonna do any editing at all wait did my game stuck i'm not doing any editing okay it did not it actually was just loading now you will lose every single thing my game is just taking forever to load up this is why i do editing guys now you know the reason for editing but you guys can see if you go to gears you will see that i don't have anything my decoy is gone my large backpack is gone everything but i'm gonna set back my knife and my decoy but i don't got any large backpack or anything at all so this is the reason why I said you should buy a backpack and store it inside of your stash, your tombstone stash to be exact. Now once that is done, we need to go back into the game now, right? So let's go back into the game. Let's um, start it up just like this. We don't need to get a large backpack because it's in our stash. 
Well, let's actually launch it up. Alright, so as we are starting up, you guys will see that... Wait, somebody's talking. Let me mute them, actually. Do I do that? Okay. Mute, mute. Alright, so as you guys can see, we are starting up uh, with our fresh team. And we can see our tombstone on the map right there. And if you bring up your map, you should be able to see your tombstone right there. Now, that is perfectly done. So let's make our way over to our tombstone and confirm that everything that we previously did have is still in our tombstone and that's how we will know that our tombstone has set successfully let's go i'm gonna make my way over there try to get um and that crane then i'm gonna glide all the way down that's the best way to reach over there so let me just actually not take in a uh, you should be hearing my controller pressing in the background there, but it's uh, it's all right. Wanna take this crane, and we should be able to glide our way all the way over there. Okay, let's try not to die because there's a camp here, I think. So let's not try to die here. Okay, let's go up. But a boom, but a bang. Get up here. Right. We're gonna go and glide all the way down there where the smoke is. That's where our tombstone should be. Man, it's just weird doing unedited video, bro. I just don't know what to say. <laughs> it's just weird that I can't even say anything but until we reach okay so we are there now right on the island where we save our tombstone right here guys as you guys can see I got a lot a small backpack so let's go ahead and now grab our large backpack with all our items okay equip the first thing you're gonna do and then you're gonna go back up and store all of these beautiful items boom now our tombstone is crash i mean wow now that your tombstone got crumbled you can now go ahead and duplicate their items all of your items here you can duplicate so we actually successfully set up our tombstone and if you guys don't want to duplicate your items your items will always be here in your tombstone but you will need to do one thing that is super important for doing tombstone you see this thing here will be your only way to exfil via um this game i don't know what i'm saying but you should get me an idea that is the bad signal Exfil, not exfil, it's a bad signal contract or it's a mission, I think. Yes, yeah, a mission, bad signal mission. You need to complete this first. If you don't complete this, it will not show here just like how it's showing for me because I have actually completed it. Now, if it don't show for you, you will need to close your game hard, like close your application. I can't speak close down your application if you don't see this this is the only way to keep your tombstone but you will need to break the tombstone before you close the application and if you guys didn't know you can always activate this bad signal for free and it's for everybody i'm gonna show you guys later on if you don't complete the bad signal you can activate it each and every yeah. game that you went into okay that's how you Hello. actually do it now this is what you're going to use I to exfil if you craft all if you let's say you grind out red zone and get a bunch of items you will need to leave the game via this thing right here Yo. nothing else 
nothing else. If you take a regular exfil plane, you will destroy your tombstone. You will not be able to use your tombstone ever again. You will not see it appear at all. So you will only be you doing this bad signal as an exfil option, okay? In every single game, or if you can't get access to it or it's not working and you don't have a choice you're going to hard close your application if you're on xbox or playstation press the playstation button go down and just close down the application and one thing to never do never get hit by zombies die and just bleed out and plead for help that will destroy your tombstone as well I'm, as I said, I'm trying to do this as simple as possible. So watch this video fully and you will learn every single thing that to do and not to do. Okay, this is an unedited video. Pretty much one of the dumbest video that I'm ever gonna ever do. And I probably will never do another video like this. But I'm just doing it to show you guys. Okay. Now, in order to go to this bad signal, if I go in and activate it, because I'm on a team with teams, it will not work. Hey, Everyone will need to vote and pretty sure, much most sure. people will not vote because they don't even know what this is. But um, you will need to hey, actually yeah, leave. Sure. You will need to leave the game. Oh no, I'm down. Okay, that's another problem there. So I actually got down. This is a prime example of what to do. These zombies are on some other steroid. I don't know what they're on. But uh, hopefully this dude sees me and come get me. No, I don't think they're going to even do it. Okay, I got my teammate. But this is another example. If you died like this and there is no one to help you around, just hard leave the game and you should be good. But since somebody actually is there to revive me, it's okay to do what I'm doing. It's okay to stay alive. Just never bleed out. Just never bleed out. That's all you should never ever do. And I'm gonna applaud this dude just for helping me. I'm gonna rain him down some cash. Just for helping me. Okay, he's gonna go for his teammate. So let's actually go and help him. Just like all you see his teammate died. That's the thing that you should try to avoid. If you die just like all my teammate die over there, you will not be able to get your tombstone ever again. Okay? That is something that you guys need to take in consideration and I'm glad I'm doing this unedited video so I get enough time to explain every single thing that you should do and should not do. Okay? Let's throw a decoy grenade there and let's actually get him up. Okay. If we can do it, I'm gonna rain some money on these dudes but let's revive this dude first. Okay, I think I'm gonna die. Okay, no, I can't. Don't worry guys, I got another decoy that I'm gonna use, so don't worry. Okay, it should be good. Alright, bada boom, I think he's offline. Yeah, he's AFK. So, um, with that said, with that said, um, I'm gonna rain this dude some money. Hopefully he sees this. Okay, yeah, he did see it. So let's, um, do a trail of money here. And try to get him to come all the way over here where it's safe because his teammate is obviously afk okay he's even going under the water wow that's crazy now let's go over here and we're gonna continue doing the video now okay so from here now guys we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the duplication so now that we got tombstone out of the way completely we're gonna show you guys how to duplicate your items, okay? I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to raise this dude because clearly he doesn't even notice his friend is AFK. So, um, let's go into our bad signal port and show you guys how it works. So, once you go into the bad signal port, just like this, you're gonna bring up... Uh, oh, wait, I did something wrong. Let's actually click no on that. Let's vote no. 
and I'm gonna leave my team that's super important always leave your team and your squad so that the game doesn't give them an option to vote because it will crush their game and you don't want to ruin anyone experience so let's actually do this solo let's wait until the countdown is done then let's go do it again okay gotta do it fast okay all right now the countdown start because I'm solo, it should start. Now, this is the part you should pay keen attention to, guys. You're going to close your application at this point. If you're on console, but for PC, you're going to close it when you see this black screen. Okay? You can hear me spamming my Alt and F4, which is the button that I use to close my entire game. Okay? If you guys are on PC, I'm actually using streamlabs to do the recording so let's actually launch back the game up once more and let's launch the game up again so as i was saying if you guys are on xbox let me be more clear are you're on playstation once you see the thing started counting down try to be in the water where it's safe go underneath the water bottom and once you see the countdown, just bring up your menu or maybe it will not work on PlayStation, but it do work on PS5 because you can bring up the option button and still get to see what you're doing in the game in the background, if you understand what I mean. But if not, once you see the purple looking transformation, like you, it just bring you in, just immediately close your application for Xbox and PlayStation okay for PC wait until you see the black screen then you can hit alt and F4 and that will close the game application down now that's a way to exfil and also keep all of your items and it also duplicate your items so I can always go back into my backpack and I will still have all of my items there in my tombstone backpack let's be more specific so you guys can know what I mean in my tombstone you guys can see I got all the stuff right here but they are also in my tombstone so from here we can also unequip these now to make sure they are safe in our stash so I unequip all of them and we can go back in the game now and we will have all of these items in our tombstone you guys should understand it's super easy and self-explanatory now let's show you guys how to activate the bad signal you're gonna go on this mission here you can see store mission click on it go over to act v click on act v then you should see your bad signal right there go ahead and click on it and it should activate once it activate you should be okay but i will take this as with a grain of salt it is not a hundred percent reliable if especially if you did not complete it fully I complete it fully I complete everything but if you don't complete it you will need to check it every single game that you are going in because at times it will just automatically disabled and you won't have that uh, bad signal triangle thing on your map but for me that completed it it will be there permanently okay yeah it will be there every single game so I would highly suggest before you start doing this complete the bad signal mission it's easy just go in with a friend and just do some little simple tasks you don't even need to fully pack your weapons and then you're gonna go ahead and kill a worm boss it's the weakest worm boss and it's super easy to defeat so you can do this by yourself like I did with a pack a punch two weapon and it's really easy but now a lot of people think that whenever I do this my tombstone is now destroyed or it's gone it's still there and we're gonna go back in once more and prove that it is still there 
but as you guys can see now I got myself a large backpack so I can just go in and I can equip every single thing but let's keep our decoy uh, equip decoy because I did use all my decoys and from here we're gonna go in and by the way you can bring your weapons as well because your weapon will not get stolen or will not get destroyed if you use the bad signal port once you use it your weapons is fine you will have your weapon it's just another way to exfil you know it's just a glitch way to exfil that's what the bad signal is so now that we have duplicate our weapon you guys see the two method or to tombstone or to set it up properly and how to duplicate your items as well as properly exfilling with a um how should i explain this properly explaining by doing by with properly exfilling and keeping your tombstone safe okay okay so let's go back into the game again this time i'm gonna go solo so we don't have any teammate talking over me which will be annoying and i would have to mute them but let's go in i got zero items equipped so let's go in ready up right so we are in the third game now let's actually see you can see my tombstone already on the screen this plane just like that so for all the folks that think when you duplicate your items and use the by signal port it will take away your tombstone that is incorrect it will actually once you do it on time and you do it the right way it will work and it worked like a charm like I got my tombstone right here you can see it so let's head over there and show you guys that every single thing is still in my tombstone stash and we can keep on duplicating it until we hit like a million stuff in our um, secure stash so let's go and get this truck here if we can get it now we're gonna make our way all the way down to where we can get like a tear or something we can use to glide out of here I hate this uh, spam location it's just a forest but never mind we will get there it's gonna just take us some time Alright, I think we need to take this beaker here. Okay. Oh wait, what kind of object was that? The game glitchy at times. Something that I always experience. I'm not even sure if it's my PC. But I always uh, experience some type of object spamming in the game. I'm not sure if you guys experience it as well. But I constantly experience it. And I actually saw a big YouTuber like um, Noah. That's what his name is a zombie uh, YouTuber with over 5 million subscribers. I think I saw that on his stream one time and he was like, bro, what is this? But uh, let's make our way over there. Okay, so we should be at our tombstone once more. Okay, so our tombstone is just at the same location. And you guys can see all of my stuff is in there. So let's go ahead and grab all this stuff. We're not going to equip our backpack this time since we still have our backpack from previous game. 
now we can go ahead and leave this game just like that we're just duplicating our items one more time okay so like we are solo we don't need to leave any team just go ahead and activate this and vote yes we should be okay stay in the water for a bit and just wait on this to count down then you can leave right here but I'm gonna leave when I see the black screen okay so I'm hitting alt and f4 and we should be good the black screen is now here and yeah my son just woke up on me so I guess this is where the video will end so this is actually all you guys can do it um, I'm gonna launch my game up to just to show you that my items is uh, actually there once more that I can duplicate that I just duplicate I mean sorry there is so much mistake making this video it's gonna be cringe bro it's gonna be extremely cringe oh my world alright let's actually go in again so this is for you guys that are constantly saying that if you do it and take the bad signal port you lose everything but probably you're not doing it correctly and that's what probably causes you to lose it but let's go into zombies once more and let's move over to gear as you guys can see I got all my stuff right here now if you don't see the backpack it will not show obviously but I got all my stuff right here I'm not sure why the backpack don't show up here but I guess it's just not one of those items that need to be shown so if we go here we can see we are we're coming from like 80 something I'm not even sure you can run back the video and see how much stash we did have we're coming from like 80 something I'm not even sure but now we are 99 almost a hundred um, stuff is in my secured stash which is just insane if you go over here you can see I duplicated a bunch of items over and over and over and over it is just endless dude it is just endless but let's let lay this video to rest and I hope you guys did enjoy I know this video is probably the longest video I have ever made and I don't think I will ever to make one more video long as this but I hope this video did help you guys out in some way and yeah thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate you so be good stay safe take good care of your health and as always subscribe we are on our way to 2000 subscriber the support we're getting lately is just ridiculous I can't find word I can't find word to describe it so have yourself a blessed day and I'll see you guys in my next one peace